Hello everyone, Jake here. Today we're going to talk about suspenders. It's no laughing matter, but I always had an issue keeping my pants up. I'm a big guy and belts just wouldn't do it. So when I started looking for a better way to hold up my pants, I really didn't have anybody to turn to. My father never wore suspenders. I have friends in different trades and they don't wear suspenders either. Some of my neighbors wear bibs or overalls and those really weren't my style. So I had a really hard time finding something that would work. And one day I remember something from my childhood and that was uh, suspenders. Regular clip suspenders. So I went to my local Menards and not knowing any better I picked up a cheap $10 pair of clip suspenders. And what followed afterward was several months of disappointment. Those suspenders would come undone. If they were under a sweatshirt or under a coat, it was just a hassle to get them back on. So I ended up wearing them less and less until I finally stopped. I knew that there had to be a better way. So I started researching. And it took a while, it wasn't that easy. Suspenders are really not that commonplace anymore. And you can't go out to your local store and buy a decent pair of suspenders. They're usually an inch, inch and a quarter thick and usually clip-on suspenders. You will have a very difficult time finding good suspenders in a big box store. So I scoured the web, I read a lot of posts on a lot of different um, logging forums, I looked at some YouTube videos and I made uh, several different purchases to try different types of suspenders myself and today I will show you what I learned. Let's talk about the shape of suspenders first. There's two dominant shapes of suspenders. The wide back with a single strap in the back attaching to the back of your pants or the X back with double straps attaching to the back of your pants. The X back suspenders give you more support so if you're doing any sort of construction work any any manual labor I would recommend purchasing an X back uh, suspender suspenders fall into one of three categories clip button and belt loop or belt clip the suspenders I started with were clip suspenders. These clips are often called alligator clips. You attach them to, to your pants with the clip, snap them shut. These often came undone when I did any sort of work, when I would bend down, um, they would come undone. And this pair here is a uh, McGuire Nicholas. I bought them at Menards. They were less than $10. I don't know if a better brand, better make, of clip suspenders would do better. I'm curious to see, I'm curious to hear if you guys had better luck with clip suspenders. But what I learned um, with experience is that for big guys like me, and I think guys that do manual labor um, and wanna keep their pants up uh, at all times, the best suspender type is the button suspenders. So I have two different types here. I have the Carhartt and I have the Baileys. Uh, the Baileys, I believe, are about $15 and the Carhartts are about $20. Uh, for both of these, to attach them to your pants, you will need suspender buttons or bachelor buttons. And these buttons have to be attached to your pants and pretty much they're permanently attached to your pants. What you have to keep in mind is that the pants that you will use these button suspenders with, these buttons are pretty permanent and you will not be able to use a belt with them. All button suspenders have these uh, rabbit ears. My first pair was this uh, Carhartt brand um, and they're about, uh, I think they're two inches wide. They're just about two inches wide, both of these Carhartt and the Baileys. When I purchased the Baileys, uh, I like the, the, the Baileys rabbit ears are a little bit more flexible. Um, also Baileys, well first of all Baileys is made in, in America, they're made in the USA. Carhartts are no longer made in the USA. Uh, made in Dominican Republic. 
And the other thing that I really like about the Baileys is that Baileys you can still big, uh, buy big and tall suspenders. Whereas with Carhartts is one size fits all. But like I said before, for these button suspenders you will need you will need uh, bachelor buttons or suspender buttons and I will make a separate video with how to attach these buttons to your pants. It is super super simple to do. The bag of buttons is about four bucks or so. The Carhartt suspenders I got, I purchased them from Amazon and they did come with a set of bachelor buttons. The third type of suspender is the suspenders that attach to your belt. This particular one here they're Perry suspenders, they're also made in the USA and Perry makes suspenders for different brands. Cabela's uses Perry suspenders, Dickies is another brand that uses Perry suspenders. I think Perry is made right just south of the border here in Illinois. I enjoy these very much. What is the benefit of wearing these type of suspenders? Well, you don't have to permanently attach bachelor buttons to your pants to wear them. You can have a belt on and they clip right on the belt and they work pretty great and I wear these uh, maybe not on a regular basis now but I wear them often I wear them to work and I prefer these tremendously more to the alligator clip ones they're also airport safe if you're traveling there's no metal in these there's also another way that uh, belt suspenders could be attached to your belt and I don't have one of these to show you but basically instead of loops they have hoops, little, uh, little hoops that go over the belt. Um, and I think that type of suspender would also work pretty good for, um, for when you need a lot of support. I'm looking forward to getting one of those, to buying one of uh, the loop belt suspenders. And when I do, I'll make a quick uh, add-on review to this video uh, for everyone to see. There's a fourth type of suspenders that I don't have here and they are uh, the trigger snap suspender and they attach your belt loops right over here and the, the trigger snap is kind of uh, like the end of a uh, dog leash and I will post a picture um, of them for you so you can see what they look like so in conclusion I think that the overall best type of suspender is the X-Back button suspender there are many different brands that make them I have two brands here again, I have the Baileys and the Carhartts and I will link to both of these brands uh, below in the description. Madsense also makes a uh, button suspender, I don't have one of those. Um, there's another company called Wright Enterprises uh, that I've read good things about and as well as the Welch company. Uh, all these except for the Carhartts are um, USA made. USA manufactured uh, suspenders. So look them up. For me, once I learned how to properly wear suspenders and what type of suspenders to wear in, in different situations, really changed uh, the way I dress now and the way uh, I feel comfortable at uh, different situations, whether that's uh, out there uh, bucking a log um, or whether it's at work. Um, suspenders are a great thing and I hope more people learn about them and more people start enjoying them uh, as much as I do. Thank you for spending the time watching this video. If you like what I do here, watch my other videos and hit subscribe. Thanks again.